one of Australia's greatest mysteries. Who murdered the Somerton Man? This year, two University of Adelaide students attempted to find out. So where did we start? We started with the mystery code that's connected with the mystery murder. We wanted to crack the code, and here's a few things that we tried. First we contemplated, what if the letters in the code were the initial letters of words in a sentence or in a list? We decided to find out which language they were most likely from. So we conducted a frequency analysis on a number of different languages. And English came up very strongly in the lead. In the software side of the project, we extended an analysis tool which had been written by a previous year. And we also created a tool of our own. These were the cipher analysis tool and the decoding toolkit. The decoding toolkit was originally created so that we could use the text of the Persian poetry book connected with the case as a one-time pad decryption key to try and decrypt the code. Unfortunately, this resulted in no matches. So we looked to other methods to try and find out the identity of the Summerton man. We did a mass spectral analysis on one of the man's hairs to see if we could gain any clues of his environment in the weeks leading up to his death. The data we gained still requires further analysis, but we were able to find out that the amount of lead in his hair actually decreased towards the time of death. So, who did murder the Somerton man? Perhaps next year they'll find out.